thermodynamics thermodynamics the three phases of matter the three phases of matter let us study the three phases using a graph on x axis let us take heat energy on y axis let us take temperature suppose a substance suppose a solid substance is heated a solid substance is heated initially its temperature increases as we give heat energy to it so the relation between heat energy and rise in temperature is a straight line so oa part represents oa part represents the heat energy given while the temperature is increasing at a the graph is horizontal at a the graph is horizontal this indicates the temperature remains constant the temperature remains constant as the heat is given to the system or solid substance that means by the time the heat comes up to b the entire substance will be converted into liquid state so ab indicates the transition from solid to liquid during this state some substance will be in solid state and some will be in liquid state and the melting takes place until the entire solid is converted into liquid so at b the state is liquid at a the state is solid bc portion indicates the increase in temperature of the liquid bc portion indicates the increase in temperature of the liquid so at c once again we notice a horizontal graph this indicates that the temperature remains constant and in this case the heat energy is utilized in converting liquid into vapor state so this indicates transition from liquid to liquid to vapor so the temperatures corresponding to ab and cd they are constant temperatures and the temperature corresponding to ab is tm it is called melting point the temperature corresponding to cd is termed as tb and it is boiling point at melting point the solid is converted into liquid at boiling point liquid is converted into vapor liquid is converted into vapor so in the graph oa is increasing temperature of solid ab is transition from solid to liquid bc is heating the substance in liquid form and cd represents the transition from liquid to vapor if we take ice if we take ice oa indicates the increasing temperature of ice tm that is melting point is 0 degree centigrade so the temperature increases from minus something to 0 degree centigrade ab indicates 0 degree centigrade ab indicates 0 degree centigrade ab indicates 0 degree centigrade bc indicates increasing the temperature of water increasing the temperature of water cd indicates boiling point that is 100 degrees centigrade 100 degrees centigrade triple point of water triple point of water it is a state of temperature and pressure it is a state of temperature and pressure at a particular value of temperature and pressure water exists in all the three forms solid liquid vapor that is ice water and water vapor they exist uh, in all the three forms at this temperature and pressure that is 0 degrees kelvin 273.16 degrees kelvin 273.16 degrees kelvin temperature and 4.58 millimeters mercury of pressure 4.58 millimeters mercury of pressure now if we plot a graph between temperature and pressure if we plot a graph between temperature and pressure we notice three lines which indicate the transitions we get three lines which indicate the transitions that is from ice to water water to vapor water vapor and ice to water vapor here i have shown three portions of the graph 
PA, PB, PC. PA is termed as steam line, PB is termed as ice line and PC is termed as hoar frost line or sublimation line. The portion above PA and PB is liquid and below PA and PC is vapor and to the left of PB and PC is solid. That means for any point that point indicates a set of values of pressure and temperature. For any point above P and P B indicates liquid state. For any point left of P B and P C indicates ice and any point under P A and P C gives vapor state. Like this we have to understand this graph. Triple point triple point is a particular temperature and pressure triple point is a particular temperature and pressure at which a substance exists in all the three phases that is solid liquid and vapor solid liquid and vapor in the figure p is the triple point it is the triple point of water its values are 273.16 kelvin 273.16 Kelvin and 4.58 millimeters of mercury. At atmospheric pressure, at atmospheric pressure, ice melts at 0 degree centigrade and water boils at 100 degree centigrade. At 100 degree centigrade. But if the pressure increases, if the pressure increases, melting point decreases and boiling point increases. The set of values of pressure and temperature, the set of values of pressure and temperature at which boiling takes place is indicated by PA, is indicated by the curve PA. That means for any values of pressure and temperature on this graph, for any point on this graph, water boils, water boils. That means boiling temperature is not 100 it can be above 100 if pressure is increased. So, this curve indicates the set of values of pressure and temperature at which boiling takes place. Similarly, PB, PB indicates it is ice line. It indicates PB is ice line and it indicates the set of values of pressure and temperature at which ice melts into water. The set of values of pressure and temperature at which ice melts into water is indicated by the line PB which is known as ice line. Similarly, the curve PC indicates the set of values of pressure and temperature at which sublimation takes place. That means ice will be directly converted into vapor. Ice will be directly converted into vapor. So, PA, PB and PC they represent set of values of pressure and temperature at which boiling, melting and vapor sublimation takes place. Vaporization, melting and sublimation takes place. The region above PA and PB is water. The region above PA and PB is water. The region to the left and between PB and PC is ice. The region below PC and PA is vapor. Along PA, water and steam are in equilibrium. Along PB, ice and water are in equilibrium. Along PC, ice and vapor are in equilibrium. Latent heat. A definite amount of heat is necessary to convert. A definite amount of heat is necessary to convert a substance from one phase to another phase, from one phase to another phase. The amount of heat necessary, the amount of heat necessary to convert 1 kg of solid from solid to liquid phase is latent heat of fusion. From solid to liquid is latent heat of melting or fusion. The amount of heat necessary to convert 1 kg of liquid from liquid to vapor is latent heat of vaporization. The amount of heat necessary to convert 1 kg of liquid from liquid to vapor state is latent heat of 
vaporization. Latent heat of ice is 3.35 into 10 to the power of 5 joules per kg or 80 calories per gram. Latent heat of ice is 3.35 into 10 to the power of 5 joules per kg or 80 calories per gram. Latent heat of steam is 2.26 into 10 to the power of 6 joules per kg joules per kg or 540 calories per gram 540 calories per gram volatile liquids have less latent heat example petrol ether etc they have less latent heat liquids with less latent heat gets vaporized quickly they can be vaporized quickly with less heat latent heat of vaporization is always greater than the fusion latent heat of fusion due to large kinetic energy required but this is because large kinetic energy is required for molecule for a molecule for vaporization for vaporization 